Hello viewers, this is a scam warning message. Hopefully this will help you identify scams and not fall for them. I received this email this morning, supposedly from eBay or PayPal, claiming that somebody had purchased with a foreign currency an item using my account. And uh, this is what's known as a phishing scam. The purpose of this kind of an email is to convince people to click on that link right there which will bring you to a website that looks a lot like the actual website and they want people to attempt to log in and so what happens is when you attempt to log into the fake website you type in your username and your password and you click on submit or whatever the button says instead of logging them into the website that simply sends your credentials to some database that a hacker has set up and then they now have access to your account so there's a lot of things here that look normal especially if you're not very familiar with eBay and PayPal but there are some dead giveaways here that this is in fact a scam the first one is the from address now you can see the name is PayPal but if you look at the actual address, it's some nonsensical thing. It's some weird domain that's certainly not PayPal or eBay. Moving into the message itself, you can see there are some grammar discrepancies. For instance, most companies that are professional don't start off with, Hi dear, see we have a comma error. The comma should be directly after California, not in the middle of the space. Metode is not a word in the English language. And you can see here that this is, well, here's another grammatical error. It should have an apostrophe in this particular situation. And the question mark should be right after the words. ID would typically be capitalized, etc. Now, you can see the way this is designed is very intentional to grab people's attention. Up here we have, you know, something that you probably didn't buy, and so now you're in a panic. Oh no, somebody purchased my, you know, something under my account. And then right there, ever so conveniently, is the dispute payment button. So let's take a look at a real message from eBay indicating that I purchased something. This right here is a legitimate message I received from eBay after I made a purchase or I made an offer and the seller accepted it. So you can see here up at the top the address is at ebay.com as the domain which is correct and there is no weird informal language such as hi dear everything is grammatically correct and as would make more sense we have a complete purchase button not oh you purchase something let's dispute it right away that's kind of odd so now I want to take a look at the the website I don't suggest that you click on these links because you never know what they're gonna do but I knew how to stay safe on the internet so I took the risk and clicked on it and this is what it brought me to this is their quote PayPal and quote login this is the actual PayPal login. You can see fake real, fake real. There are very little differences between the two websites. And the same thing with, with the emails. These emails look very similar. And if you're not a regular on eBay and you're not constantly purchasing things all the time and seeing these messages, or if you're just not very observant because you've done it so many times and it's a regular old thing to you. This is very easy to miss. So on these websites here, there are a couple of ways you can tell that they are fake. This is the fake website and looking up in the top left corner, this is pretty universal for most web browsers, you can see there's an address bar and nowhere in this address bar are the words eBay or PayPal. There's this weird recent mailapp.ml as the website. Now you can see this is secure indicating that it's encrypted. 
However, if we get more information about the certification, or the certificate rather, you can see that there's several things wrong with this. It's not issued to PayPal or eBay. It's issued to recentmailapp.ml. It's also issued by some bizarre Let's Encrypt Authority X3. And it's also issued for a very short period of time. These are all signs that something is very wrong with this certification, or certificate, bleh, whatever it is. So now I'm going to go back over to the PayPal one, and you'll see, instead of saying secure, it says PayPal Incorporated, oh my goodness, I can't talk today, PayPal Incorporated US, and we do have the secure indicator saying that it's encrypted. So I'm going to click on here, view the certificate, and we'll say it's issued to paypal.com which makes a lot more sense issued by Symantec which is a very well-known security corporation valid from several years so these are all much more reasonable reliable uh, ind indicators here that this is a good website and I'll show you one more thing on this fake website just for purposes of curiosity I typed in something completely nonsensical on here and the, um, whoops, ah, oh, what happened? I start all over again. The error message it gave me is quite comical. Oh no, some of your info is incorrect. Please try again. Well, most certainly, a legitimate website would not have such a ridiculous grammatical error on the beginning page. The other suspicious item here is that when we click sign up, it does nothing but reload the page. There's also no help item. Normally, and you can see it here as well, there's a help item. So if you can't log in, you've got your password, what have you, you can get help there's no items for help on here so now I'm going to put in a potentially realistic email and put in a reasonable password and I'm going to click log in and you see that's even the item that's the icon that PayPal uses um, and now, after we've clicked log in, we've gotten to another fake page. We're concerned about potential unauthorized activity, which is hilariously ironic. So I'm going to go through here. And again, you can see up here at the top, we are still at that weird mail app website. So what, let's recover our account here. So what happened when I went to this website is they took your username and password and sent it off to some crazy database that a hacker has set up and they've collected your sign-in information. So they can now go take that information, take your username and password and sign into your PayPal account, buy stuff, take your credit card information, view any other personal information on your account. So very terrible. Now it looks like here they're looking for even more information. They want your telephone numbers used for fraud alert. Oh, the irony is insane here. For security reasons, here we go. They want your social security number. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, this is all fake. This is not what the semantic icon typically looks like. It doesn't say semantic validation, ID protection. 100% secure, well, that sounds really reliable. Very sign, I'm not really sure what that is. I'm sure it's illegitimate. Or at least the icon is illegitimate. You notice that we can't click on any of these links up here, which is a good indicator that something is very wrong. Um, log out, now we have this miscellaneous error. So it's it's very, very fake. Um, but it also looks very real, especially people that don't know any better. So if you happen to fall for one of these scams, one of these emails, if you get the email, 
you're really at no risk. Just delete it. Don't click on anything. If you happen to click on it and go there and give them information, you have to change your password. That's the most important thing. But if you go through this whole thing and give them your social security number, whatever, that's a big old fiasco. Um, at that point, you're going to have to contact authorities and report identity fraud because that's unfortunately you just gave out your identity to these people but um, anyway so that's that they're easy to avoid if you pay attention they're also easy to miss if you don't so just be careful browsing on the internet